Hey everybody, um, guess it's time for me to do another review here. Um, right now I'm going to test something called 40 Client, 40 client secure, or Security 4.1.0. Uh, just wanted to see how it did. Um, and uh, let's take a look at it. I've never used this before. Um, just found it online. And uh, we'll, we'll see what it does. I got 10... Uh, new URLs right here to test it with. Let's see uh, let's see what the premium edition benefits are. Oh, I forgot to turn on my networking card as usual. Let's see. Okay. Well, okay, here we go. Uh, central management, we don't care about that. So there's a couple benefits, but we'll go with the free edition. See how that does. We'll accept the license agreement. And we'll install everything. Let's install it, and let's see what happens. guess it's installing uh, some drivers here because it comes uh, with a firewall so I would say it's a, a complete security suite if it comes with a firewall and antivirus and they call it endpoint security so uh, let's see here network coming back up as you can see says it's uh, optimizing performance here, uh, whatever that means. While that's doing that, let's uh, check out their website. Okay, so they supply a lot of uh, security appliances, so I know that they have a lot of, uh, as you can see, a lot of server security. So uh, they, they might be a pretty good company here. I uh, don't know how well their endpoint security is going to work, but uh, we'll try it out anyway. Let's see. Antivirus and anti-spyware uh, protection, that's good. Firewall, of course that's good anti-spam that's I like that web content filtering that's okay whatever you want to call that so far uh, don't see anything that looks too bad out of it I wish I knew what which uh, engine it used but we'll find out anyway by how well it does okay seems to be up and running here. Let's go to the advanced setup and uh, see what I can mess with. Okay. I don't need to do any full scans. By schedule at least. See it's performing an update. Okay. Everything should be updated. Let's open up the user interface. Not bad. Windows based. Let's uh, enable the startup list monitoring. Update that's all up to date. That's good. 
can do uh, virtual private networking, I guess, with it. So that's not bad. Let's go to the settings. Clean and quarantine, that's good. Advanced settings, okay. We're going to uh, put the heuristics on there. Real time protection. That should be good. I'm not going to mess around with a lot of that. That's good. That's good. Let's see what they have on their advanced. We'll enable the heuristics. Okay, firewall. We'll do normal. settings everything looks good there anti-spam that's whatever okay so I'm probably gonna get a couple tests in before I have to start a new video but uh, well let's try it anyway okay first link here I think it's some kind of exploit and apparently it doesn't work All right, it blocked one of them. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see, uh, block this one. Illegal or unethical. Malware that got blocked. And that got blocked. Right there, you can see it. And that got blocked too. So far, this is pretty impressive. Nothing's gone by it yet. Oh, okay, something got by the web page blocker. Uh, let's uh, see what this is. Okay, security warning. This is a uh, okay temporary internet file is attempting to connect to a public zone. So this is basically the. Uh, firewall so right now I'll let this go because thinking it's a normal program Let's see what happens don't see anything don't see any response from anything Okay, we'll keep going here. Maybe I'll find something sooner or later. Okay, block that one. And it blocked that one. Okay. So, everything that I've thrown at it so far, it's blocked. That's uh, pretty amazing. Other than that one that it let squeak by, but the firewall grabbed it. Um, that's not bad at all. Uh, hey, I'm going to be right back. I'm almost up on my time. Uh, see you in a second.